stuff. So. All right, so basically we're gonna be looking at how you create a floor plan and uh, hopefully we will have the walls up and uh, the openings before the end of the class. So this is a, this is a, this is the layout of the floor plan that we're gonna be working with. The start point is right there, but we need to know the steps. So before we get into that, what I will do is to talk briefly about what is a floor plan. So I have prepared this manual, which is what I have just um, shared with you, with the steps to create the floor plan. So basically this is a sample floor plan, just to show you what a floor plan looks like. We all, I know you all know what a floor plan looks like because you have been drawing many of them but this is an axonometric view of a floor plan. So we know that the floor plan is a horizontal section that is taken through the building, horizontal section through the building, just above windowsill. And as you can see here, this cut takes place above the windowsill in order to capture where the windows and door openings are, as well as the fixtures that are in place. So a definition is on the next page, this is a floor plan that we are going to be doing is a one bedroom flat and uh, this is the section through that same one bedroom flat. It's a horizontal section through the building just above windowsill. So we all know what that is. Now, and it's the same thing this, but it's in um, shaded mode. It's an axonometric view, giving you a kind of pictorial floor plan layout. This is the floor plan that we're going to be drawing. You may have drawn it already in your manual drawing class, but we are going to be doing it this time in AutoCAD. So I'll take you through step by step. All right, so what I have listed here are the steps that we're going to be taking. We have done step one already, which is to start a brand new drawing and choose metric. So either you can do it from the startup dialog box where you choose metric or imperial, where we chose metric. And uh, there's another option where we could have used the template, ACAD, ISO at all. Uh, West to do that earlier and then we ensure that she was in metric environment. So the other thing that we're going to be doing now is to set up the environment, the drawing parameters. So the units and limit. We are going to go with one decimal place and later on I'll be able to tell you why one but there's a reason for that. And uh, we're going to be setting our drawing limit, lower left-hand corner, zero, zero, and the upper right-hand corner is going to be 20,000, 20,000 comma 15,000. All right, so we're going to be working with that. And then we will look at step three. So, Let's begin that. Step three will start here. So let me go back to the previous step. So if you want, you can now switch over to your screen. I will do likewise by going over to my AutoCAD screen. And we're gonna be demonstrating that now. So in AutoCAD, I one of the ways to double check that you're in a metric environment is to is to go down to your annotation scale and if when you click on it you see metric scales coming up then you know that you're in a metric environment so i can tell that i'm in a metric environment because i can see all these scales showing up metric scale if you're seeing any imperial scales any at all then you know that you're in the wrong environment so that's the first thing so we're gonna do the setting up, hopefully by the time we're done do the setup, then the five minutes that we have left will be up and then we will rejoin and start the drawing, or start step three. So we're going to be doing the units. So it's U, N, four units. Then we're going to press enter. And when our units dialog comes up, we're going to be setting our precision to 0, 0. 0.0. It should be on decimal millimeter already, so we shouldn't be changing it. You see inches any at all, you are in the incorrect environment. So let's work with decimal, one decimal place, 
and millimeter should be there. Click OK. That is the first thing. And the other thing will be limits. So our shortcut for that is L I M enter. Our lower left hand corner is already indicating zero zero, which we are going to keep. So I just press enter. And then the upper right hand corner now, we are going to use that as 20,000 on the X comma 15,000 on the Y. Press enter. And we know that once we have done that, we must press Z for zoom, enter, and A for all, enter. So we have completed our zoom all. Should I give you some time to do that or everybody's okay with what we just did? Are we okay with that? Just checking to make sure. Matty says it's okay. Alex says okay. All right. Wes, what did you say? Okay for you, Russ. Johnson say okay. Okay. Wes, are you okay? Russ? I wonder if she has stepped away from the computer. Ross, please indicate if you are okay. Giovanni is okay. All right, so I'm gonna take it that Ross is okay or she's having some challenge because I'm not even able to unmute her. So let's see what happens after the reconnection. So that was the first step. Now the second step, we are not going to be able to complete this before the disconnection, but I will introduce it nonetheless. So I'm gonna be sharing back the screen. I'm gonna be sharing back the screen with the presentation. So <laughs> the next move now would be to create what we call layers. So we need to know what are layers. Now, basically when you're drawing in AutoCAD, you want to put all the different features on a different layer. So the wall on a different layer, the text on a different layer, the dimension, the fixtures, the doors, windows, all those different things. So it gives you the flexibility to be able to turn on or turn off things. If you want to copy the floor plan and not copy the dimension, you can either lock or turn off the layer, copy the floor plan, and you get another copy of the floor plan without the dimension. But if you don't work on layers, then you're going to have an issue. After the break, I'll see a little bit more in detail when I'll bring up the, the layer standard. I'm gonna be introducing a layer standard that we're going to be using, and it will give all the properties for that. It will tell you the name of the layer, the color, the line type, the line weight, all those things. But in a company, you would normally have a person who basically sets the standard and that person is called a CAD manager where they will determine all of these standards and the CAD technicians use it. So in this class, I will represent the CAD manager where I will come with all the standards and we will be able to utilize it. So this is the first of about four standards that I will introduce. There is the one for layer and there's the one for text, dimension, multi-leader and table if we get that far. Okay, so we'll just wait for the time to go and then we will resume. All right, so remember you're gonna reconnect right after. Person who joining us, we are about to disconnect, so please reconnect right after.